He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, the tee, the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Part of this second nine with a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for Birdie. Let's see what McElroy does now with his second. He's overshot the green here. Fire the caddy, Rich. Seriously. Any other club other than that one. Awkward length. to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Par for McElroy, but you're just waiting for that moment when he hits that accelerator and pulls away. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Well, here we are at the 11th. Frank, this is a brutally long par four. And uh, a little bit blind, too. There's that big dune in the middle of the fairway, and, and it's sort of a bit daunting. You're not quite sure what's behind that. Well, what behind what is behind that is actually fairway and uh, just carry it over there. That'll certainly shorten the hole up. And then from there, it's a little bit of a dog leg to the right. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole.
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And I'll have this for birdie. The 11th hole, Frank, what's the right way to get at it? Just got to be cognizant of that ridge that cuts through the middle of this green that sort of turns this green into one simple green and all these little complex sort of sections. That's the biggest thing, but that's also, you realize very, very quickly, you're playing Lynx golf today. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. That's a head scratcher. No other way to put it. That close to the green, and misses it badly to the right. It's no snack, though. Nice putt, counter. Locked in on the read and the speed. So with that, one over par. The 12th here at Chambers Bay is known as the Narrows. What's the play here, Frank? Two, really. You could just sort of iron it down there, um, have a little wedge or a pitch in there with no sweat whatsoever. Or if you want to have a little bit of fun, if you can drive it over that bunker that's just short left of this green, uh, you might just putt for an eagle. Oh. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. <laughs> Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Yeah. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Pretty good effort right there. Not a gimme, but well within his range.
Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. So a tester from four feet. Frank, there's an old basketball announcer who used to say when a ball went in and out of the cylinder just the way that one did, he would say, ringtail howitzer. And that one just didn't go in. Henrik now eyeing a par. Needs this for par. Did the job right there. 13th hole now, it's a dogleg right, par four, Frank. But at 534 yards, uh, you need an eagle eye, which is the name of the hole, to find exactly where you want to hit this. Uh, Dogleg's to the right. There is a, a, a fairway that's plenty wide to accept a good tee shot. And then from there on in, it's actually a relatively straightforward second shot, providing you can miss that bunker that's just short in the middle of the green. What a great shot. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, quite a bit to consider here at the 13th. Yeah, there's little knobs on the left and the right side of this green, so that bunker you can see, at first it looks like you've got to avoid it. Well, you've really just got to carry it. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. The second shot now to the par four. Frank, these winds have not at all subsided. Still a challenge. Yeah, the same for everybody. And that's where you've just got to adjust your own mental part. And the golf course was going to be difficult when you teed off. And certainly no different now. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Well, it's that sneaky distance. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but that is going to hurt the course. Oh, I thought he had that. Just a little bit of a misread there. We smise. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par.
Big Swede now with this for par. Nudge this one home, finish it up. So that's a drop shot. Frank, this is the fifth par four in a row, and they're not easy. This one here at 14, really a daunting tee shot. It is. That's why it's called Cape Fair. A, a true cape hole in golf, Rich, is when you've got to decide how much you want to bite off when you hit across a slight dog leg. And, and this one, really, you're going to be rewarded the further left you can go. There is one little bunker in the middle of the fairway that you have to avoid. That's going to be you know, 320 or so yards off the tee. This whole 546 yards, you're going to see a variety of second shots, or the length of second shots here, determined purely by the bravery of the tee shot. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Oh, come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. Now playing the second here at the par four. Look out, it's over, the green. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. And from the fairway for his second shot here. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Settles in over the putt. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Rolls in the par putt, stays at plus two. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Good effort and good par putt. Frank, normally in a golf course, you don't want to spend too much time in the trees, with the trees, around the trees, but part of me wants to go up and and hug this tree because he's all alone. It's the only tree on the whole golf course. Well, I know you're a tree hugger, Rich, I really do. But at 246 yards, when they play this off the back tee at the US Open, believe me, nobody's hugging that tree. They're just trying to make three. I like the looks of this one. Oh, 
Booty Try up next. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. It's no snack, though. He got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like k kissing your mother-in-law. And getting ready for the putt. Well, that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Just a couple of feet. That's a par. Stays at plus two. That's one under on the day. Getting set to take on the finishing holes here at Chambers Bay. How do you do it in the right way, Frank? Well, when you look down this fairway, obviously everything slopes left to right. Um, that makes this hole actually play a little bit more of a dog leg to the right, even though it doesn't look it. Um, and then, of course, that green up ahead, it's like a tabletop. So precision here um, is, is absolutely paramount. Ooh, they've had some meat behind it. Frank, what's so compelling about rivalries in sports is that athletes need each other if they're going to go to great heights. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to solidify his legend. Jack Nicklaus probably needed Arnold Palmer to go to a place that he had not been. And I think that's true across the board as we look at rivalries in sports. I think it defines careers, Rich. Uh, it's not until those players retire that they realized how important it was to have that, that foe. You know, so often we're, we're living in the present, in the present, like we are now with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. And it's not for years to come that we'll realize the sport wouldn't have been the same with one without the other. Let's see what McIlroy does now with his second. This looks like it's going to find the target. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one 
very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. One under on the deck. Needs birdies at some point, but will take the par to stay at two over. Just two holes left to play. Now a par three, the 17th, 218 yards, and all sorts of trouble, Frank, down that right. Well, if you weren't beached at 16th, at the 16th, then there's a chance you can be derailed, which is what this hole's called, at 17. Um, difficult par three, you can see the bunker there in front, and once again, wind conditions. This is gonna probably require one of the best tee shots, especially in the closing stages of a US Open. That's well played, and a good look at birdie. There's out of bounds over there. He needs to get lucky. What was he thinking there? Frank, this is always such a difficult spot for a golfer. You just hit one out of bounds, you're trying to regroup. Uh, he's gonna need to more than regroup now. Now on his third shot after being penalized for going out of bounds. Yeah, tough break really, Rich, on that last shot. It just got away from him. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Really? This is an awkward length. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. Getting set now over the putt. Just didn't have the speed. So, they'll tap in. Going to have to regroup now after that double bogey. Stenson for his par. Now to the 18th hole, Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walking golf course and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole on the golf course. This one has a chance to be really good. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. 
High road, low road. I've worked with you long enough to know which road you're taking, pal. Well, I belong in the shadows. That's the name of another hole out there. Second shot. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Now the game's number one player, Rory McIlroy, ready with his approach. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Third shot, looking for a good one. at sneaky distance. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Always take that. Good par putt right there. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. Well, Frank, what a day. Dramatic views and some great golf as well here at Chambers Bay. You can see why this is considered a true Lynx golf course, uh, even though it's that far away from Scotland. Um, it presents so well to the eye. The bunkering here is stunning, and of course, it tests every player in the game. We enjoyed it, and we hope you did as well. For my partner, Frank Nabilo, and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now from Chambers Bay.